If you're looking for a fun and cheap way to watch events like the Super Bowl or March Madness, here's a low-budget life hack that will convert your laptop, smartphone, or tablet into an improvised home theater. I started this project with a cardboard box and a roll of duct tape. I got the black kind. Aside from those, the only thing we'll need is a simple magnifying lens. I got this one online for about $4 with free shipping. These are typically sold as full page magnifiers for reading small text. The end of this cardboard box is just slightly bigger than the plastic lens. So let's place it in the middle and when it looks about center, we can trace around the edges. Now the lens is gonna be taped to the inside of the box so let's trace out another set of lines about a half inch smaller, and now the setup should look like this. While we're here, let's use a credit card or a hotel key to trace out a rectangle in the center. All right, it's time to get to work making some cuts, and scissors can be a little awkward, so I'm gonna try using this steak knife instead. Let's start by cutting out the center piece, taking time to make the cuts as clean as possible. Now we'll need to cut along the inside edges, and if you've done it right, you should be left with a piece that looks like this. But don't throw it away. Now this part is optional, but I'm going to add some duct tape along the cut edges just to smooth them over and clean up the look. Now let's flip the box over to expose the inside and add our lens. This gets placed over the hole with the grooved side facing up. Some more duct tape is added to secure the lens in position, and now we can work on making the box a little more sturdy. I'm folding the big bottom flaps in first so that the smaller flaps are on the outside. A strip of tape will ensure the inside bottom is flat and smooth, and the outside flaps are taped down as well. Next, let's use our knife to cut down the two corners at the back to make a flap that opens up. The top can now be closed and tape used to hold everything together firm and strong. I gave mine a quick paint job, and there's the finished projector. Well, that was cheap and easy. Okay, we're gonna need a projection screen. So I went to a sign supply company and found this sheet of .02 high impact styrene for about $2. The sheet is four feet wide, and adding a little black duct tape to the edges gives it a nice looking border. I had just enough tape left to hang the screen on the wall and rig up a little makeshift theater room. Now this lens configuration will allow the most light to shine through, but if you're okay with a darker but crisper image, you can go ahead and add the shroud to the front of the lens. This will tighten the aperture and give a better focus. At this point, we're about ready to test it out. I'm going to try it with this iPad, and we'll need to go into the settings menu and make sure we lock the rotation of the screen. We'll also need to bring the light up to maximum. To hold your tablet upright in the projector, you'll need to find something sturdy. This box of tomato paste was the right size for me, so I used a couple of rubber bands to hold the iPad firmly against the box and with the screen flipped upside down. This can be slid into the projector, and you may need to play around with the positioning of your tablet to see where it focuses the best. Okay, let's turn off the lights and test it out. Well, there you go. We just made a cheap version of a 50-inch home theater, and it looks pretty decent. If you try this with your smartphone, the process is pretty much the same, but your picture will be a little smaller. I found that a laptop computer gives the best results because it's got the brightest screen. It fits together a little differently, but works for all the same reasons. So if you're trying to save money, there's a little trick that will hopefully keep costs low and put a fun spin on your next sports party. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com.